What are the success rates of silendoscopy for salivary gland disorders? Uh, the success rates vary depending on the condition that's being treated. Um, for instance, uh, if you have somebody has a small to moderate sized stone that's located within the duct of a salivary gland, the success rate tends to be quite high, um, probably greater than 80%, uh, in some cases approaching 90. Uh, however, in some cases that you have a complete uh, scarring of a duct, so such that you cannot cannulate the duct, a duct and advance an endoscope through it, uh, those cases will not have a good success rate uh, with silent endoscopy. So uh, the uh, cases or the surgeries and patients for this type of uh, procedure have to be carefully selected.